Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, Anna. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, Lorena. Hello. Hello, David. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Eric. Welcome, Christian. Welcome, hello. Laura. Hello, Deborah. Hello, hello Ernesto. Hi, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Are you ready for your English class? Yeah. Yes, awesome. I'm ready. Awesome. Who can tell me what do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Do you remember? Verbs of frequency. Can you give me an example? What is an example? Words of frequency. Always. Always. Ever. You, ever. Ever. Y que ever lo vamos a utilizar cuando eh, fueran fue frequency. That is correct. Eh, cosas que no fueran tan común. Exactly. Eh, usually, for example, usually, for, for example, algo que no es muy común, eh, for example. For example, eh, do you ever eat a salad for in the morning? Okay. Do you ever eat salad in the morning? Salad in the morning. Or do you eh, ever eat garrobo? Garrobo, yes. Garrobo, <laughs> me, I, me encanta. <laughs> me too, me too. It's delicious. Easy, delicious, delicious. <laughs> eh, 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 hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Hardly ever. And um, never. Never. Um, often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Example, I hardly ever eat a snack. Oh, on some side, eat. Uh, pasta mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for dinner. That's right. That's correct. Okay. Good, good. All right, all right. Very good. Uh, so today, uh, also, we were talking about culture food. Do you remember culture food? What is cultural food in El Salvador? Pupusas, yuca frita, yuca frita. Uh -huh. what else, what else, nance en miel, what else, mango en miel, miel, jocotes, <laughs> plátano, nuegados, en miel. plátano en nuegados. miel, canelitos, nuegados, Chuco. what else, chuco, what, what else, empanadas, empanadas, Tamalito de lote. Tamalito de lote. What else? What else? Atol de tortilla de marañón. Atol de tortilla de marañón. No, de semilla. De semilla de marañón. Atol de maíz tostado. De maíz tostado, que es casi como de tortilla. Okay, all right. So, our culture is very, very rich in different kinds of foods. Now, Today, we are going to continue and move forward, and I would like for us to jump over to section number 4.5. By the end of this class, Cinco. you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con los deportes populares en Estados Unidos y Canadá. Eh, guys, mucha gente piensa que el soccer, fútbol soccer, que es el fútbol nuestro, ellos le dicen soccer, eh, no es un deporte popular muy equivocado. En los Estados Unidos, sí es 
popular el soccer. Ok. Eh, tienen el, eh, está el MLB, Major League Baseball, el NBA, eh, National uh, Basketball Association, NFL, eh, National Football League, y está también la, la de soccer, M M MLB, algo así se llama, o MLC. Mm -hmm. eh, so, soccer is, eh, antes... Many years ago, it was not a popular sport in the United States. It was only American football and basketball and baseball. Yeah. But soccer was, wasn't popular. But nowadays, in 2023, it is, it is a, a very popular sport. Okay? Just to give you a little hello teacher hey how you doing melanie nice to see you welcome all right <laughs> um let's continue we're going to be looking at sports and seasons Hi. vocabulary Thank you. what seasons are in el salvador what seasons do we have in el salvador Winter and summer. Correct. In El Salvador, we only have winter and summer. Uh, in the United States, what is another season that you know? Fall. Fall. And it's fall. Spring. Fall. Sometimes they call it autumn also. Autumn. Fall or autumn is the same thing. And was the other one? Was the other one? Spring. 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 Correct. Spring. So, spring. All right. So these are the, the typical four seasons that we have in the world. What are some sports that you know in the United States and Canada? What are some sports? In Canada is in Canada is a play is a ice skating. Ice skating. Ice, ice skating. Ice skating. Okay, that is correct. Ice mm. skating. Ice skating he plays soccer. Ice skating. Okay, they play a lot of soccer. Yes, they do. Soccer. They play soccer. Uh, play tennis. Tennis, yes. It's very popular. Tennis. Uh, play they play volleyball? hockey too. Hockey. Okay. Hockey is good. Huh? By uh by um riding. Oh, cycling, cycling. Okay, yes, that's a that's a they, they play. They do cycling. Riding, as in reading. Uh, you can say cycling, or you can say bike. Reading. Riding. Uh huh. Riding. Oh, both ways, cycling fishing. or bike riding is the same thing. Fishing, yes, it's a fishing okay. is a popular sport. Uh huh. Poker. Um, poker, yes. They play a lot of poker. Football American. American football. American football. Yeah, don't forget that Basketball. one. Basketball. That's, that's very important. What do you say, uh, billar? Pool. 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 Mm. pool. Yeah, we, they, they play pool. a lot of, a lot of pool. Pool, uh-huh. Esquí. Ah, of course, skiing. Swim? Swimming. Mm. Ski. Swimming. Skiing. And uh, swimming. Uh -huh. Good. Kayaking. Kayaking. Yeah. Sailing. Moro. Moro. Water polo. Water polo. Rugby. Rugby. Huh. 
Rugby. ¿Alguna vez han jugado rugby? No, no. para ti, no. de televisión. Oh. My boy. What is that, teacher? Rugby. Yeah, rugby is like American football, but no protection. No protection. Quebradura ah, segura. Okay. Yeah, rugby is very dangerous. You can easily break a nose, get a concussion. You can die, break a bone, break a leg. Rugby is a, is a serious business sport. What yeah. else? Bas <laughs> basketball? Basketball. Lacrosse. Golf too. Lacrosse. Um, volleyball. Golf. And volleyball. Chess. What do you say? Ajedrez. Chess. Chess. Ajedrez. Chess. Baseball. Baseball. Okay, that's it. That's it. Let's go ahead Toss. and uh, softball. Softball. Okay. We're going to go ahead and continue and let's watch the video. And uh, please take notes. Let me erase this. And let's watch the video. Everyone, in this Can everybody class, hear? We learn vocabulary Can you hear? Related to popular Can everybody hear? in the U.S. Can you hear? Yes. 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 Started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Okay, listening and practicing the vocabulary. Eso es lo que yo okay. hago. Cuando me pongo a leer, I listen on my cell phone, and then I read. So estoy haciendo las tres. I'm listening. I am reading. Estoy escuchando y estoy mm -hmm. leyendo. And I am pronouncing. Mm-hmm. Three. Three. Listening, Three, reading, and pronouncing. So everybody, please uh, listen and repeat and read. Sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. Sports and Canada. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people in the spring, play golf people and play, play soccer. Golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, In the summer, play people tennis, play baseball. Play volleyball, no los escucho, no los escucho. Swimming. Okay, guys, okay, okay. guys, I want everybody, I want you guys to, vamos a hacer tres cosas. Vamos a hacer tres cosas. Vamos a, vamos a leer. Ajá, we're going to listen. Listen, vamos a escuchar. Listen. Read. Read. And, and pro pronunciation. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, eh, Melanie, God. la vamos a poner en silencio porque se escucha bastante transferencia. All right. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Ready. Eh, guys, si están cerca de una tele, por favor, mantenga su micrófono en silencio porque la tele se escucha y perturbe el audio. Let's go. Sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Let's get started. Sports in seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play soccer. In the summer, 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 people play soccer. Vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yo hago, yo hago ese ejercicio, pero con lectura en español. <laughs> Ahorita estoy leyendo este libro, Sentimientos Básicos de la Vida Humana, de Carlos Urméndez. No sé si ya lo leyeron. Es de psicología. 
ha de ser un libro muy bonito. Sí, quieren escuchar algo que me tocó así como que like, damn, what, for real, lo leí como cinco veces. El hombre es básicamente un ser sensible porque posea, posee una receptividad que le permite captar todos los fenómenos que suceden en su entorno. Wow, look at that, man. It's like, that is It's so, that's strong. Esta sensibilidad es la que le abre los ojos a la realidad del mundo natural. Very deep. Qué bonito. Very deep. Very, very deep. Yeah. That's true. Teacher, teacher, you, teacher. teacher, what is the book? Uh, the name is Sentimiento Básico de la Vida Humana, Carlos Gurméndez. Un mm. ensayo. Ah, oh, ok. Básicos de la Vida Humana. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, one more time. Everybody, please listen and repeat. <laughs> listen and repeat. Words in the U.S. Okay. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports season vocabulary into practice i would like for you all right so you can do that exercise guys uh, with any video and i'm telling you it's gonna help you it's gonna help you so much with your pronunciation it's gonna it's gonna be incredible you're gonna develop fluency so fast if you practice this exercise or books also you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons for example in the spring i play soccer in the summer i go swimming In the fall, I play football. Okay, uh, let me explain something right quick, right here. Uh, this over here, in the spring. In the spring, I play soccer. In uh -huh. the summer, I go to Hold on, hold on, Austin, Austin, uh, pay attention. Um, uh, this part right here, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, uh, you can say in the morning, in the morning, or you can say at night, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the evening. On weekends. All day, the uh, Yeah, all day. Uh huh. All day. All day. Uh, on vacation. Right. So all of these are what we call adverbials of time. Okay. That's the name. Adverbials of time so the adverbial of time usually goes in the beginning of the sentence or and the end of the sentence for example in the spring i play soccer or i play soccer in the spring Or you can say, in the summer, I go swimming. Or, I go swimming in the summer. Or, in the fall, I play football. 
or I play football in the fall. So the position of the adverbial of time can go in the beginning of the sentence or in the ending of the sentence. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, okay. Okay. And then we have uh, the verbs, right? The verb play, go. Those are the common verbs for sports. Uh, you use um, practice whenever you are talking about a martial arts. For example, karate, right? You say, I practice karate. Or you can say, I practice uh, jujitsu. Jujitsu. Or you can say, uh, I practice. I uh huh, kung fu. Meyer Mac, uh, martial, martial. Uh -huh. martial arts, martial uh, arts. I practice martial arts. So taekwondo. all karate, taekwondo, jujitsu. Uh huh. Mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts, uh, MMA. All of that we're going to say practice. Or if you're talking about the piano, the piano. Boxing. If you say, for example, I play the piano. Right. El verbo sería play. Eh, digamos que usted dice el toco la guitarra. I play the guitar. O el violín. I play the violin. Ok. So, son verbos colocativos. Ese es el. Teacher. Mande. Eh, how, do you say, how do you pronounce entertaining? Entertaining. I don't remember. How do you pronounce? Eh, entertaining. I believe. And. Enter. Entertaining. 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 Okay. Entertaining. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? I don't have a doubt. <laughs> somebody, somebody. Thank you, Austin. Somebody? Questions, no, questions? Okay. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to express what activities you do in your life. Okay, for example, uh, uh, you can say, I say, for example, in the summer, I go to la costa del sol and eat a shrimp cocktail. Uh, in the Winter, I go to El Boqueron and camp in the vol volcano. All right, I want you to give me five examples. Five examples of de cada uno, five teacher. activities. Eh, pues no de cada uno, porque en El Salvador yeah. solo tenemos summer y winter. 
Así que solo quiero que me diga cosas que ustedes hacen. ¿Qué hace usted en el verano? ¿Qué hace usted en el invierno? Por ejemplo, en el verano oh, oh. voy a la playa, en el invierno voy al volcán. Any questions? Oh, clear. Any questions? Y los va a escribir. ¿A dónde los van a escribir? ¿A dónde lo vamos a escribir? In the platform. In the platform. Right. This is exercise 5.1. 5.1. And you're going to do it here in the discussion forum. Eh, voy a activar para que puedan compartir sus pantallas. Questions? Questions? Questions, questions. No, ¿Cómo dijo que le íbamos a poner en el tema? Eh, el tema sería eh, sports and seasons. Season. Sports and seasons. Sports and seasons. Per season. Sports and seasons. Season. Okay. Yes. Another question? Another question? No. All right. Voy a activar para que puedan compartir su pantalla. Let's go. Hello, Mallory. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Juan Carlos. Welcome. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Hey, how you doing, David? Hey, Carlos. Hello, Elba. ¿Quién va a compartir Hello. la pantalla? Quiero ver que alguien comparta la pantalla. ¿Quién la va a compartir? Party. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Melanie. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Aquí está con sus compañeros, David, Elba, eh, Juan Carlos. Y muy pronto, José Alcides se va a incorporar. Ahí está. Thank you, David. Okay. Thank you, David. David está compartiendo la pantalla. Thank you, David. All right, guys. Quiero verlos a todos trabajando juntos. No solo ya quiero ver a David. Ya estuvo. Silence, Melanie, please. Ok, se incorporó Elba, Juan Carlos, David y Melanie. Ok, good job. Quiero ver que todos estén trabajando con David. All right. Veo que no están trabajando en grupo. Eh, Brian, Jorge, Delmi y Catherine. Necesito que uno comparta la pantalla. Quiero ver que lo hagan en grupo. El objetivo okay. es que lo hagan juntos. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Brian. 
Excelente, Brian. Vaya, quiero que todos le ayuden a Brian a hacer las oraciones. Sorry, the platform yeah. is no. Entonces, podemos is... añadir actividades de un compañero. The bitch. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Eso winter, lo ver. I go to the field. In the winter, I drink coffee. Perfect, perfect. Super bien. To come. Uy, excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, good job. No, solo estoy supervisando. Ah, perdón. Bueno. También. Este, 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 este. Este. Miro y Austin. Eh, Austin. Excellent. Austin. Austin. <ríe> ¿Así se escribe? No, Austin. Eh, la O en vez de la. Es la Austin, Austin, de la Texas, o. como Austin, Texas. ¿Así? Eh, falta la U. <ríe> Austin. Austin. Por Dios, qué complicado ese nombre. <ríe> Austin. Ponce. Ponce. Austin es la capital de Texas. Okay. Okay. Austin, Texas, va, teacher. Austin, Texas. Ahí están todas las mejores universidades que tiene Texas. <ríe> teacher. Austin, se, Austin se conoce como College Station porque es la ciudad de, de es la ciudad en Texas que contiene casi todas las universidades mejores eh, en Texas. Eso sí no lo sabía, teacher. Ahora sí. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Cuando empieza la vacación en del... Estados Unidos, de la parte de él. Bueno, de todo el área donde está Nueva York y todo. Bueno, cada estado tiene su ciudad principal. Eh, uh -huh. Y en esa ciudad es donde están las mejores universidades. Texas es el único que es diferente. Eh, porque la ciudad principal de Texas es Houston. Pero eh, ahí es donde están las cortes. Está University of Houston, U of H, el Medical Center, está todo lo importante. Pero las universidades como ITT Tech, eh, universidades así que son de tecnología y cosas así, todas están en, en Austin, Texas. Es uh -huh. el centro, es, es como el centro educativo, digamos, de, de Texas. Yo, en, por ejemplo, lo miraba hace bastante que tenía como también en, en el canal en Discovery Channel, parece. Mm -hmm. O en History, History Channel. Creo que ahí miraba las de las universidades. Son sí. buenas. Sí, sí. Son buenas. Yeah. ¿Qué tal el día, teacher? Well, eh, busy. Busy all day working. Uh, I went to the gym. I went swimming. And I was uh, doing my exercise with my legs. <laughs> and, and working. Calling, calling, calling. And then I was reading my book. And now giving mm -hmm. class. After class, read my book. So. You're tired. <laughs> I, I don't feel the time. <laughs> The teacher is not bored. <laughs> Termino <Do> tired. <laughs> yeah. Do you swim, teacher? Yes, yes. I I like swimming. Uh, today I swam 20 laps. 20 laps. And I worked out my legs doing the squats with my legs. You're a, you are a, a athletic man, I guess. Uh, I am very active. Every day I, I practice a sport. Uh, I am a, a very active person. I am not sedentary. My PlayStation is the gym. ¿Cuánto lleva, teacher? 
en el gym. Uh, all my life. Yeah, all my life. Suplementos, no. No, 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 natural. 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 Uh, supplements are no good. Supplements Nothing. is only sugar. <laughs> yeah, supplements are super bad. Don't drink supplements. I don't recommend you drink el coffee, <laughs> Yeah, drink. Yeah, oh, and eat. Eat Or correct. Tea. No, eat Or natural. Tea. Eat natural. Eat meat. Eat tuna. Fruit. Natural fruit. Vegetables. You. But, but don't, uh, don't consume uh, oh. supplements. That's... Very bad. Yo me Pero me he estado haciendo masajes y, y teniendo cuidado con, con todo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero a una rodilla me hace un tronido. No me duele al instante, pero sí me duele poco. Pero siempre me hace el tronido. Y he bajado bastante peso porque donde me lesioné fue haciendo barra libre. Ah. Intenté levantar 125 libras y oh. yo levantaba 90. Oh my God. Pero ajá, ahí me lesioné. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Mira, este, mira Catherine, este, me, no sorry. sé si te puedo comentar algo. Este, no ajá. estás pidiendo mi opinión, evidentemente, ¿verdad? pero con los A síntomas ver. que vos tenés, este, creería yo de que tenés un problema en los meniscos de la rodilla. Este. Los mismos síntomas tenés que yo tengo. La diferencia es que yo me lesioné jugando fútbol. Ajá. Y así como vos lo estás describiendo, pensaría que esa lesión tenés. Ajá, eh, es que siempre haciendo ciertos movimientos, truena y duele posteriormente al hacer un movimiento, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero a mí me truena como al flexionar la rodilla. Y ¿Mm? un dolorcito leve. Sí, exactamente. Así, así duele cuando tenés lesión de menisco. De porque verdad. debería de ir a ver con ortopeda y ver qué te dice, pero por los síntomas que, que vos decís, son igual a los míos, ¿verdad? Ajá, Entonces sí. pensaría que por ahí esa lesión tenés. Me dicen que use real. rodilleras para, para hacer lo que es barra libre, porque yo todavía sigo haciendo barra. Uh -huh. Pero siempre, o sea, siempre lo mismo. Siempre. Sí, me <ríe> hace un tu síntoma today, más seguro. Que tenés... squats. Squats. Uh -huh. Así se dice sentadillas. Sí, hago squats, hago este, squats. hago barra libre, hago prensa. No sé, eh, bíceps, bíceps, tríceps, eh, pierna. Hago también este, lo que es el... Abdomen. Ay, se me ha olvidado cómo se llama este ejercicio, pero que se pone la barra en el vientre. Y usted se acuesta en la... Ah, en el, uh, uh, reverse. Eso el es hip, thrush, good... hip thrush. Hip thrush. Hip thrush. Hip thrush. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Peso yeah. muerto. Yeah. Peso yeah. muerto. Yeah. También hago peso muerto, Román. Uh, you say deadlift. Dead I like the gym. Yeah, I love where the gym. Where I, go, I, I go to the life. gym every day. ¿Cuántas horas va usted, Tichi? Al gym. Uh, I do two sessions. Uh, one session I do only like, for example, sauna or swimming or cardio on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. And then another session only weights, only weights. Uh, yeah. Yo voy tres horas y siempre después de los ejercicios pesados. Hago lo que es cardio, ya para terminar la, la de, de, de matar el cuerpo, por decirlo así. Pero yeah. eso, eso no, te, no se hace todos los días, porque si no, 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 ¿verdad, teacher? Que no recibe resultados de lo que hace. Pues el, cardio, the... el ah. cardio se deja de último cuando ya has hecho el ejercicio pesado, porque así quemas uh -huh. más grasa. Uh -huh. Bueno, porque yo lo que bueno, quiero bueno, es bueno, más bueno. Y, y, y planificar, ¿verdad? Yeah. <ríe> Yeah, yeah. And it's good for your heart. The cardio is good for your heart. Teacher. And it's also good for your brain, for the oxygen. Yes. Teacher, it's correct. Ask uh, what time do you do at the gym? Uh, no, no. What time do you go to the gym? 
eh, sería el equivalente a decir cuánto tiempo haces en el, en el gimnasio. Ah, no, no, how long, no, 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 you can say, how long, how long do you work out? How okay, okay. long do you work out? All right, guys, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go. All right, let me have one volunteer. Tenemos una duda. Yes. Yes. What is your doubt? Who has a doubt? Uh, pregunta ah, la que... Yes, ah, what is the la... question? Sí, es que estábamos hablando ahí con una compañera en el grupo. Eh, uh -huh. Queríamos eh, relacionar la oración con, con un juego de, que se conoce aquí como damas chinas. Oh. No sabemos, pero no sabemos cómo se pronuncia. Solamente para echar a la bolsa. That is a Chinese checkers. Uh, ah, checkers. Checking. Chinese checkers. Mm -hmm. Chinese checker. Okay, let me have a volunteer. Thank you. Let me have a volunteer. Uh, I teacher. Okay. Uh, so they say I or me? I or me. Okay. No, no, no. no. Le estoy preguntando. Me. Se dice, a ah, mí se dice. Ah, correcto. Me. 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 Go ahead. Ok. I'm sorry. That's I... ok. Take your time. In the summer. Take your time. Yes. Ah. In my group. Uh, I five uh, seasons. Yes. Uh, I five uh, examples. Okay. In the weekend, I go to fishing. Do we say it's... in the weekend or do we say on weekends? On weekends. Uh -huh. On weekends. E weekends, um, weekends. Weekends is plural because it's, it's, we say los fines de semana on weekends is plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. On weekends, I go to fishing. Uh, we In say my... I go fishing, not to. I go. I, I go. go fishing. Uh -huh. In my vacation, I go. Uh, to the Chalatenango. Okay, we say on vacation. On, on vacation. vacation. On vacation, I go to Chalatenango. I go to Chalatenango, okay. On weekends, I visit the zoo. In the summer, I go to the beach. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I usually stay at home. Mm -hmm. e in the summer, my mother is a visit in my house. Eh, my mother visits my house. Visit. Okay. My mother visits my house. Correct. Okay. Delvin Carías, Karina Funes, Jorge Lopez, and Brian Black. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, guys. I like that. All right, let me have another volunteer. Catherine, levantó la mano. In the summer, I like to, to go El Tonco Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, in the summer, I like to play football. In winter, I always have a umbrella in my back, backpack. 
<laughs> For <In> real. <laughs> I like to watch movie and drink hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, I winter, said, yeah, movies. 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 movies I, I movies. like to watch movies. Movies and drink hot chocolate. In winter, I love drink hot coffee. Okay. Y mis compañeros son Jessica, Austin y David. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, la última sería, I like drinking hot coffee. O, I like to drink hot coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, guys, ay, se me ha olvidado, tengo que tomar la asistencia. So, we're going to do that right now. Tiempo vuela. Why? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let me have the first participant, Anna. Present teacher. Thank you. Today is the day. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Eh, Ana Perez. Ana Perez. No está aquí. Ana Ruth. ¿Alguien la ve por ahí? No. Parece que... No, teacher, no, no parece. Okay. So is absent. Um, Austin. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian. Present teacher. Good job. Christian. Present teacher. Very good. David Rodriguez. Present. Awesome. David Ramos. Present. Excellent. Deborah. Fantastic. Tell me. Present teacher. Very good. Este, este ya no vino. Edwin. Present teacher. Awesome. Elba. Present teacher. Good job. Eric. Present. Very good. Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Jessica. Present. Romero. Oh, teacher. Jessica, Jessica Romero. Jessica Romero. Present. All right. Jessica Serrano. <laughs> Present teacher. Very good. George. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose. Present. Excellent. Juan. Present. Fantastic. Catherine Funes. <laughs> eh, guys, por favor, ponga sus <laughs> micrófonos en silencio. Eh, Catherine Funes. Present. Okay, thank you. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Catherine Portillo. Present teacher. Awesome. Laura. Present teacher. Very good. Lorena. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right. Good attendance. Good attendance. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. We're going to be looking at the next exercise. 
which is coming from section 5.2, which is basically the WH questions. So we're gonna look at conversation. I love sports. I love sports. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using double. Okay, guys. Uh, this right here for the simple present, for example, the first question, we say, what sports do you play? Right? What sports do you play? ¿Qué, ¿Qué otra pregunta podría hacer? Esto es como para, esto es como para cosas eh, rutinarias, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué deportes juegas? ¿Qué otra cosa pudiera preguntar? Por ejemplo, ¿qué, qué libros lees? What, is... What books do you What read? Do you... Libre, oh, read. Read. Uh -huh. What books do you read? ¿Qué libros lees? Son cosas como hábitos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, de uh -huh. ¿Qué deportes juegas? ¿Qué libros lees? La gente que uh -huh. le gusta jugar eh, videojuegos es algo que lo hacen como hábito. Uh -huh. What como leer game un do you play? Como leer un libro, como jugar un deporte. Uh -huh. What, What do you play? What video game? Yeah. Video, What game. video games. Do you play? ¿Qué música escucho? Play. Ah, ¿qué, qué música ¿Qué escuchas? ¿Qué música escucho? What, What do you music do you, do you listen? Listen What to. What do you play? Uh, repeat. What instrument do you play? Ah, okay. What instrument? Do you play? Ajá, digamos, un piano, una guitarra, un violín, tambor. Good. Edwin, question. Edwin, levantó su eh, mano. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ahí estoy yes, viendo. Eh, las dos oraciones. La primera dice, what, what books do you read? Porque yes. ahí no puedo agregar el tú al final. Y en music, do you listen? Sí lo agrego. Ah, no sí. Correcto, eh, sí. Eh, la frase listen to es la única que se le agrega el to. De ahí todos los otros verbos no llevan el to. Play, read, dance, cook, practice, no llevan el to. Okay. Solamente el listening. Eso ya es como una fórmula, ya es como, digamos, es, ya es sí. aquí porque tiene que ser así. Sí. Se llama fragment, eh, phrase fragment. Phrase, phrase. fragment. Uh -huh. 
Así se llama este tipo de estructura. Phrase fragment es, es una estructura compuesta. Cada, cada vez que tú dices listen, vas a, vas a poner el to. Por ejemplo, tu mamá te dice, hey, hey, escúchame, escúchame. Right? Te dice, hey. Listen to me. Listen to me. ¿Verdad? Listen to me. O le dices a tu hijo, hey, escúchame, escúchame. Listen to me. Eh, ponemos el to me. O tú dices, yo escucho música. I listen to music. O sea que el listen mm. es como que cuando escuchas algo tentativamente. Eh, tú dices, hey, cállense, estoy escuchando la noticia. I am listening to the news. Ok, hey, no escucho la clase. Okay. Cállense. I am listening to the class. So, el sí, listen. Eh, uh -huh. no, sé si he, no sé si he visto mal, dice, en algunas ocasiones. Y en el write de escribir, no, uh -huh. no se emplea también el tú. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Si yo te digo, por ejemplo, qué historias escribes. What stories do you write? Pero si vas a decir, me gusta escribir. Allí sí vas a decir, I like to write. I like to write. O digamos que tú dices, odio escribir. I hate to write. Ahí sí. O me encanta. No, el encanta ya es writing. I Pero... enjoy writing. Pero siempre iría antes del verbo. Correcto. Chu, correcto. No, correcto. Nunca después, solamente me dice. Pues aquí el verbo es like, hate, enjoy. Eh, ese es el verbo. Son verbos, lo que le llamamos verbos pasivos. I like. No demuestran acción. Un verbo activo es, por ejemplo, I eat. Uh, Burgers. Allí eat es un verbo activo. Pero si tú quieres, a mí me gusta comer hamburguesas. I like to eat hamburgers. Aquí el verbo es like. Me gusta. Ya es una estructura aparte. Thank you. Yes. Ok. Uh, let's finish watching the video. All your questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb, do. After that, we add the subject, you. Next, we add the verb, play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the word. Eh, lo que él está enfatizando acá es que esto se ve extraño. With. Who do you play baseball with? Este, esta es una estructura que no es muy común. 
se interpreta así. ¿Con quién juega béisbol? Eh, estas preguntas se llaman W. Si las quieres seguir estudiando, las puede buscar así. WH questions that finish with a preposition. Preposition. WH questions that finish with a preposition. Por ejemplo, um, si yo te digo, ¿qué, ¿qué música escuchas? Este es otro ejemplo. What music do you listen to? El to es una preposition. El caso de esta. Who do... O oh, puedes preguntar con quién vives. Who do you live with? Otra vez, with es una preposition. Uh -huh. So, wow. hay, hay ciertas preguntas que terminan con prepositions. Es solo de familiarizarte cuáles son. Y las puedes buscar así. What question? Uh, WH questions that finish with a preposition. All right, guys. I gotta go. I will see you on Monday. Monday. So, I hope that you all have a good weekend. Uh, si van al surf competition que va a ser el sábado, eh, I will be there. So if you see me, say hello. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Good night. Good night.